Today I'd like to talk to you about being fruitful. The church of the living God is ordained to bring forth fruit. That's what it says in John chapter 15. That we are ordained and chosen of God to bring forth much fruit. Now what I have seen in my spirit is a woman's womb being shut up and desolation being in the land. You know, and it talks about that in Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 31. He talks about that the the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride uh, is, is not heard in the land. You know, and, and what I have seen in my spirit is that uh, there is a famine in the land of hearing uh, the word of the Lord. And what we want is to hear the word of the Lord, to hear from the bridegroom, which is Jesus, and to hear from the church of the living God, which is his bride. We want to hear the truth. And that will bring forth uh, that, and in, in open up that that uh, womb that the word of God can go forth and in, implant into the bride uh, the seed of the truth. And this is what we want. Uh, in um, Jeremiah thirty three eleven, he says, But the people of God, uh, when they raise up their praisings to me, when they begin to praise me, then they're going to hear the voice of the bridegroom. They're going to hear the voice of rejoicing and gladness in the land. And the, and the bride, uh, you're going to hear the voice of the bride. And so this is what brings forth that fruitfulness in, in all of us. And in the, if you're a member of the body of Christ, then you're part of the church. You're part of the bride that Jesus uh, has bought with his precious blood. And so, as we praise Him, as our praises go up, then it's going to open up a way, an avenue, for Him to plant that good seed in us. And then, as we begin to pray, just like Hannah did uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 1, uh, verse 10, she is barren. She is barren. She has no child. But she prays to the Lord and he opens up her womb. And in, in the um, the second chapter of 1 Samuel, it says, And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord my horn is lifted up. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like the Lord. Praise God. There is no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. You know, and I and I just think about Hannah as she prayed, uh, as she rejoiced in the Lord, then she received strength to conceive. And she brought forth Samuel. She brought forth the prophetic, the first prophet uh, that we see that shows up on the scene. Uh, in the Old Testament, is Samuel. And we see that the prophetic word is birthed in her as she begins to pray, as she begins to say, Oh, I am I am going to exalt the Lord. There is none like Him. There is no rock like my God. Hallelujah. And as she does this, she becomes fruitful. You know, I'm standing uh, in front of a beautiful gazebo today that is used for weddings. To join a man and a woman together. Hallelujah. And this is a beautiful spot. It is a place where that ceremony can go on. But you know, as we get into our prayer closet, as we begin to pray, then that fruit is going to be coming forth in us. And then the whole church... The her church, which is made up, we are the church. Not the building, but we, we the people of God, are the church. And we will become fruitful. You know, it says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, that the bridegroom comes forth out of his chamber. Hallelujah. 
I can just see Jesus coming out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. What kind of closet? Her prayer closet. That's where the church needs to be. We need to be on our knees praying. We need to sing praises unto the Lord. And then that fruitfulness is going to come forth. And we shall know them by their fruit. We shall know that we are Christians by the love that we have one for another. You know, I think about in Matthew 25, it talks about ten virgins. Five are ready and five are not ready. Five have oil in their lamp and they're waiting for that voice of the bridegroom. And they're, they're fruitful. They are full. Their lamps are full. And then there are five that have no oil. They have no fruit. Uh, that they have brought. And they want to buy some from the five that had some. This is what the parable says. And the five that had the oil said, No, go and buy for yourself. Because if we give you some of my, ours, then we're not going to have enough. You know, the fruit is there to present to the Lord. He comes down and he tastes. We are his garden, and he comes down just like this beautiful garden that's around me. He comes down, and he walks in the cool of the evening, and he he wants to taste of our fruit. Well, while these five were going to get oil for their lamps to produce fruit, the bridegroom comes. The voice of the bridegroom, he is coming. He is coming. And the five that were ready, they went in. The five that were producing fruit went in, hallelujah, and the five that that had to go and find oil, they did not get in. Let's produce the fruit that the Lord wants us to produce, love and joy, and that's found in Galatians 5.22, the fruit of the Spirit. One last scripture I want to read to you because I get excited about this message because I want... I want the church to be a fruitful vine. I want her uh, not to be desolate or barren, but I want her to be producing. You know, and it says that uh, in uh, 22, the Spirit, in verse 17, the Spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. Whoever is thirsty, let him come. Whoever wishes, let him come and partake of this gift of water of life freely. You know, we want to to say today, come, Lord Jesus. Come and taste of our fruit. Come and, and let us see your face. This is what we want. I pray for you today that the fruit of the Spirit will begin to just flow out of you. That that love of God will flow out of you. If you need healing in your body, that God will come in and just bring uh, those trees uh, by the river of life and and heal your body. Uh, I see uh, migraine headaches being healed. I'm seeing kidneys being healed. I'm seeing feet being healed. I'm seeing uh, knees being healed right now uh, in the name of Jesus. I love you today. Thank you for viewing. Be fruitful.